Hello everyone, Gilbert here. Welcome to Red Dragon Model Works. Um, over on the Styrene Syndicate, right there, the Styrene Syndicate on the Facebook page, there's a couple of brothers that have um, started doing this, this particular model. And I had totally forgotten about this model. So once I saw it, I mean, me and Dragons, I just had to grab one. Um, Steve Sutton and I, uh, Scale Model Kit Review, right there, Scale Model Kit Review, and I are going to be doing a buddy build on it. He's just waiting for his to come in. But um, I thought I'd show you guys uh, this nice little kit here. It's by uh, Pegasus, of course. I don't remember when it, uh, it's not a new kit, and I don't see on the side of the box a date, but I'm sure it'll probably be on the... Um, uh, 2012 so this came out in 2012 so stick around guys I'm going to do a real quick review of this this model here and I'm also going to have a, a build series on it so um, let me um, you know pause this camera a little bit get everything together and I'll show you what's inside this uh, box here for the Dra Dragon Slayer Vermithorax Dragon by Pegasus Hobbies be back in a second all right, as I said, let me uh, adjust the camera here, and I'm going to show you what's inside this box here. So let me uh, move this just like that, and then I'm going to zoom in just a little bit right there. All right, move this down a little bit. There you go. So again, as I said, this is from Pegasus Hobbies, um, the Vermithrax uh, Dragon. It's a 132nd scale model kit uh, from the movie The Dragon Slayer. It also comes with a little figure here. Um, yeah, right there. It comes with this little cat right here. Um, it's got some nice little, like here, it's got a nice little uh, photo of Vermithrax. Right here it goes over, it tells you exactly who he is and what the movie's all about. So, let's get into it. All right, let me bring that down just a little bit more, right there. Um, let me push this light here so you guys can see it. First of all, what you see here, you got three bags. This is the... the the you know, I, I can take it out of here because I'm going to build it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, you get a little badge here. It's uh, And then you get, the, like right there, you have a... Let me see. Let me get a little closer here. You have the the arm right here with a with a, with that lance there that he uses to kill Vermithrax, the, the kid in the movie. And then you have, you know, this really cool uh, little placard that you're going to put on there. Um, it's made out of uh, that plastic that, uh, yeah, that Pegasus is known for. It's, not, it's like a vinyl, I think, or plastic. They, everybody says it's vinyl, but it doesn't feel like vinyl to me. So, anyway, let me put this back in here. So, you get that little bag. And then uh, we'll get to the dragon himself. Let me move some of this out of the way. Before we do that, I want to show you. These are the instructions right here. Um, it's from, uh, It tells you again, it's from the 1981 movie. As you can see there, it goes into with the, you know, the movie. Here's the instructions, got a little picture there. And, you know, there's not really much to this kit, you know. So, there's your... Uh, you got the, the, how to put the little, whatever his name was. I can't remember the kid's name. And then how to put the dragon together. How to how to mount him on the figure, on the, on the base. And then bada bing, bada boom. So there's that. Pretty simple. This is the base that it comes with. Um, it's not a bad base. It's got some nice detail to it. It'll paint up real nice. But my problem with it is, it's, look at this. It's that, it's real thin. Um, so... One of two things I can do. I can fill the back of this with foam and then cut it off. Um, I don't know. We'll see. You know, you get some of that expanding foam and put it in here. Or you can fill it with, uh, I don't know, some uh, plaster of Paris or something. But we'll, we'll work on that when the time comes. Or just get a nice little oval piece of wood, you know, put that on there, glue it down. So... I'm not too too happy with it, but we'll see how that how it works when the time comes. So that's the base. Again, it's got some nice little detail in there. It's not bad, you know. It'll it'll take some some paint and some inks and some dry brushing and 
some blending. It'll take it real nice. I like that, that they got that little bit middle there. So that's the base. Now let's get to the to the dragon. So you got a bag here, and you got a nice, um, pretty big, you know, bag with it. And this guy is, is massive. He's a big dragon, guys. So there's the main body of him right here. And then you have, uh, you know, like his wings and stuff. Let's see. This would... No, no, that's his legs. All right. So that would go here like so. Yeah, because he's going to go this way. So the texture is not bad. Um, let me get some light on that. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's some nice texture there. It's beautifully detailed as far as the body's concerned. Excuse me, this... Uh, this keeps moving on me. So let me see if I can tighten that down. There we go. So that's some nice detail there. Look, let me see if I can get that to focus. There you go. Some really nice detail. Then you got on, here underneath his belly, there's some nice ridge detail in there. Oh, this is going to be beautiful to paint. Um, again, like I said, it's got it's that 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 funny plastic. Um, here, let me let me stop this from auto focusing. And then I'll get in a little closer. Let's see if I can do this. No, nope, that's not going to work. So, let's see. Let me focus in a little bit there. Come, There you go. You see that? Some of that detail. It's going to, it's really nice, you know. And this, it's thick. It's all solid. You can move it. This is a... Uh, a lot better than, uh, you know, you got that Reaper plastic. This is a little bit better than that. It's a little stiffer. Um, just putting, if I take this part here and stick it in here, you know, it's not going to be as bad. There's going to be some seam cleanup, but nothing really bad. Look at that. Um, and then you have this part here that goes like this. So these are his, his two parts that, let me auto get back to autofocus here. You know, so this is going to, this gives you an idea how big this guy is. Um, This sits in here, his neck, like so. So, you know, there's a, and of course you got all these parts here. This, this will go like this. That's part of his wing. That'll go in here, like so. This one will go in here. might have to no it did you know the seam isn't too bad see that let me get in there a little bit more again the seam isn't too bad guys look you know once you get that in there and you i'm going to use some aves epoxy sculpt and then just fill that and then with the with a with a wet brush smooth it down but um that's not bad once you uh you get it in there and you put a little tension on it you know you'll be able to fill that little seam pretty good but i like all that detail look at that so, like I said, um, let me get back to the auto focus. So this part here will sit like, um, yeah, this one goes in here. This one will go in here. That's part of his tail here. Oh, no, that's just part of his leg. Yeah, see, you got a leg there. Anyway, so there's uh, some really nice... Uh, detail on this this is part of his tail so this will go now there's another piece here this piece goes locks in like that and then you have this piece that'll lock in here and then yeah it's not a a, a bad kit I, I, I might just pick up another one so let's see what's in this bag here so here Okay, first off, we have the, this dude, this is the, the little protagonist dude, you know, so we got this cat right here, and again, let me get the light on him, it's not bad, the uh, detailing on him, for a Pegasus kit, you know, it's really not that bad. So there's the figure. Um, I don't know what this is. I'll, that's probably just a pour plug. 
cut that off. Here's uh, one of his arms. Let's see, that'll go here, like so. Oh, that's where his shield is. He's got a shield, guys. Um, where's the shield? Oh, there's another. He's supposed to have a shield. I don't Oh. Yeah, he's supposed to have a shield here, and I don't see it in the... Hold on. Oh, there it is. That'll go. Locks in here like so. So, he's got like this here. And then um, that arm that I showed you that was in here, this one here, goes in here like so. So, oh, sorry about that. It goes in like that. So, pretty cool. Um, but here's the, the meat and potatoes of it all. Here's the Vermithraxis head. Look at that. So once you, uh, let's get to, get rid of this port plug right there. Get rid of that port plug there. And then you lock in those two parts there. Oh man, that fits really nice. Look at that. There's old Vermithrax. Of course, like in here, you'll have to fill that in. But again, um, you can do the, um, you can squeeze this down and, and almost get away with perfect plastic. But I don't use that that much, so I'll probably use the. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I might. I'll try the perfect plastic and see how it works. But I, I I'm more apt to use some epoxy sculpt in there. Um, same thing here, um, but here's this uh, That's some nice detail on it. You know, I'm surprised that uh, that uh, I didn't catch on under this one sooner This is gonna be really great to paint man, and then uh, his head goes like in there And there you go. Look at that Ain't that cool. That's got to be the coolest thing man. Look at that Let me see if I can stop this yeah this thing here Trying to work this camera here. Look at that. So, again, it's not a it's not a bad kit, you know, for for what you pay for. You got that. There's a part here, which is this piece here, that locks in down here at the bottom, like that, just like that. And then you got the legs. You got one that goes in here. Yeah. You got this one that goes in here. You got that that goes in there. And then you got his feet. Like right here that go there. So let me back up a little bit. So yeah, look at that. And then of course, like I said, you have the my dogs you hear. You have the wings. Come in like so. So let me bring that this way so you guys can see that. So this is what it's gonna look like. You know, look at that. I think that's pretty cool. Um, it's a nice size. Look at that. There's my hand. So I'm a big cat. I'm a big dude. So there's the there's the size of him. So all right, be back in a second. So. There you have it, folks. It's just a quick and down and dirty um, review of this and what I thought of it. Um, like I said, it's 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 a nice kit, real heavy, thick plastic. It goes together. It's I, what I like about it is you got these little, like right in here, you know, these little plugs, and they just fit perfectly in there. Um, and I don't think there's going to be once you get this glued down. You know, get a good glue in there. I think um, those seams won't be that that hard to uh, to fill. I'm going to use uh, perfect plastic, as I said, so I don't think it'll be that bad. But we'll see. We shall see. Um, so I think I'm going to start working on on old Vermithrax here tonight. I wanted to show you guys. You can find this on Amazon. If you got Amazon Prime, I paid fifty three seventy nine. I think it was for it, so it's under fifty four dollars. 
with uh, with shipping it's not a bad price for what you get i wanted to show you guys a couple other things i'm working on um these are nice this was given to me let me uh lower that a little bit these um let me shut this light off this is the 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 ravel uh star destroyer i got this i don't know what the size is guys so forgive me um this was given to me by uh brother over uh in in the uk uh one of the 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 live at the bench crew dan scattergood and all i did was i just uh i i shot it with um badger stino res gray and then i i i i mixed up a little bit of off white and then took some minotaur off white and i used uh my sotar 2020 um as you see right here i keep most of my uh the airbrushes that i use are right there um so for the most part i've got a few more sitting off inside there and then back there are quite a few of them but the ones that i use are right here um and the, the, the airbrushes that I have been using a lot are these two, the, the chrome right here. I use the the chrome and I use the Badger 20, uh, Sotar 2020 a lot. But yeah, I need to do this one. Um, as you can see here, let me get back to this stupid auto. Yeah, see it's trying to, trying to focus. But here's the, the, the Bondi. This one's from Bondi. And then this one is the Ravel. Now you can see the size difference, the bond, a beautiful detail on both of them. The only, you know, of course you got it, it's a little bigger, the Ravel, and then you have some, um, some panel lines in there. I'm not too keen on those. I really like it here because then you can take a little scriber and just very carefully scribe some lines in there if you so choose. But, uh, you guys check these out. You can get them on Amazon also, man. They, they're, they're, uh, they're pretty cheap. Um, six, seven bucks. Uh, for the Bondi, I don't know about this one. I can't find this one still here in the U.S. I'm sure you can find them, but uh, for these little guys, look at the detail on that. This, this one here is a Ravella Germany, and of course, this is the Bondi. I still need to do the bottom of it. So, anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, I got asked uh, Will Patterson. He did a video the other day on how to clean your airbrushes. Um, I keep getting asked why don't I put something up like that. I'll have one up on, on what I do, guys. Again, it's something that I do, not something that everybody else should do. It's totally up to you how do you do it, but uh, there is a right way and a wrong way how to clean an airbrush. We'll get into that in a little later on. So you guys have a good one, man. Be good to your families. Love your children, brothers and sisters. Be good to them. They're gifts from the Creator. You know, leave the trolling and the drama to the queens. We don't need it in this community. Um, as I, you know, if you like the video, leave a thumbs up. If you don't, leave a thumbs down. But you know what? Have some cojones and tell me why you didn't like it. Don't just, you know, and I know who you are. I know who you are. But anyway, you guys have a good one, man. Stay safe, stay healthy. Um, and hey, remember we're here on, uh, right here, Styrene Syndicate on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Pinterest, um, and also, uh, Google Plus, we also have the Red Dragon Model Works, League of Extraordinary Sprue Cutters, also on uh, on uh, Facebook, on Google Plus, and we'll be coming, we'll be coming to you from uh, Twitch pretty soon. You guys have a good one, man. It's Red Dragon saying peace. Be good to yourselves, brothers and sisters. Stay safe, stay healthy. Build a goddamn model, my friends.